Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to explain how to calculate uh, inbreeding coefficient using pedigree. And here on the first picture we have a pedigree of the family. And if you do not understand this picture, this is the same, exactly the same as uh, what you probably get used. So here we have female and male. And this female and male also would have two children that is going to be male and female and they both uh, also have a child and this sign uh, means that uh, gender of the sign is not specified and this double bond means that this is consanguineous mating uh, mating between close relatives and as you see this is two full siblings so I think you uh, probably get used to such picture but this picture means exactly the same so as you see 50% uh, of the genes mother gives to this child and 50% of the genes uh, father gives to this child as long as this true that uh, father gives 50% uh, of his genes to this child and mother also gives 50% of her genes to this child. So this is exactly the same picture as we have here. In order to find inbreeding coefficient we just have to uh, specify pathway uh, for this child how he is going to get his uh, genes from uh, his uh, ancestor and here we have two ancestors so uh, this is one ancestor and this is the second ancestor and there is two pathways here how he can get uh, genes so here would be one pathway so let me change sickness so this is going to be one pathway and here is a going to be a second pathway so I just use different color here. In uh, red pathway we have uh, one, two and three people and in blue pathway uh, we have one, two and three. So in order to calculate inbreeding coefficient we need to use a formula and here is a formula one half raised n and uh, n is the number of the people or nodes in our pathway as you see uh, here we have three so our calculations would be as follows uh, one half raised three and this is going to be one eighth and we also have to use uh, addition rule because here we have two pathways. So for the blue pathway we have also one half raised three. So this is also going to be one eighth. So now we just have to add these numbers. So one eighth plus one eighth and the answer would be one quarter and this would be in breeding coefficient we also can uh, give an answer as decimal number and this is going to be 0 0.25 and if we need an answer in percentage form we need to multiply by 100 and answer here would be 25 this is an breeding coefficient uh, for this particular um, pedigree. So 25%. And now let's calculate uh, an breeding coefficient for this pedigree. So here we see male who had two marriages. In one marriage he had a son, in other marriage he had a daughter. And they also would marry and have uh, a child of uh, unspecified gender. This is not uh, important for our calculations. 
where there is girl or boy. And of course, in our human population, what we don't uh, see very much such uh, situations like this one or any of this. But uh, breeders use these techniques very uh, frequently in order to breed new varieties or cultivars. So here we have half siblings. So this is uh, half siblings. And uh, let's also find uh, how many pathways we have here. Uh, let's, uh, for example, take into consideration this person. Does this person and this one share any of the genes? And we see that uh, this person got her genes only from her father and her mother, but not from this person. So we have to exclude from our calculations. Now let's consider this person. And this person got his uh, genes from his father and his mother and don't share any genes uh, with this person. So we also exclude this person. And now our pathway would be as follows. So uh, here we would have pathway that would connect these people. So as you see, we have uh, one, two, three nodes in our pathway. That means, uh, once again, that uh, calculations would be uh, the same as here. One half raised three, and this is going to be one eighth. So we can put one eighth here, or we also can say that uh, decimal number, this is going to be 0 0.125. And if we multiply by 100, we are going to get 12.5%. Uh, and this is going to be in breeding coefficient uh, for this pedigree. And you have to understand also that uh, in breeding coefficient is not the same thing as uh, what percentage of the genes uh, this, for example, um, child would share with his parents because here child would share 75 percent of the genes with his parents but uh, as you see in breeding coefficient would be 25 percent so in breeding coefficient is not uh, the same as sharing of the genes imagine that here we have for example uh, alleles a1 a2 and uh, this uh, grandfather would have alleles A3 and A4. So we calculate probability uh, for this child to get uh, two alleles that, that would be the same by descent. For example, that he is going to be homozygous for A1, A1 allele here, or any other allele, but he have to be homozygous for this uh, locus for the same allele. So this is different from uh, when we um, find uh, how many genes this child would uh, inherit from his parents and uh, in such calculations we would get different numbers that is going to be 75 percent. So uh, let's now consider this pedigree and here we have double first cousins. So uh, here is a child for whom we calculate our inbreeding coefficient. And once again, let's find uh, all the possible pathways uh, where this child can get the same alleles by descent. So here would be our first. Let me change the thickness. So this is going to be our first pathway and here is going to be our second so this is second alternative pathway and here is going to be a third pathway so he can get his genes from this grandparent and here is another pathway 
so he can get uh, his genes also from this grandmother. So as you see, we have four different pathways here. So we would use uh, our rule that is here, one half raised uh, n number of people or nodes. So uh, first pathway would be one, two, three, four, and five. So we have to use uh, our formula as follows, one half raised five. And this would uh, equal to one over 32. And because we have uh, four pathways, uh, we have to use rule of addition. So we have to add all four pathways. So 132 plus 132 plus 132 and plus 132. So our answer would be 4 over 32 or we can say that this is going to be 1 and we have to divide uh, 32 by 4 this is going to be 1 8 so the same uh, number as we have here and uh, this is going to be uh, 12.5 percent in breeding coefficient and now let's consider this pedigree once again we exclude this unrelated uh, people and we have here two pathways so the first pathway would be uh, this one and the second pathway would be here And here we have one, two, three, four, and five people. So this is going to be uh, the same as uh, we have here. So one uh, over 32. And the second pathway would be here. So one node we have here, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So uh, the same one over 32. And because we have uh, two roots here, uh, then we have to add these two numbers, 1 over 32 plus 1 over 32. And the answer here would be 1 over 16 or 6.25 percent. This is going to be inbreeding coefficient for this uh, child. and. Uh, now we can move to the uh, last pedigree, this would be uncle niece. So uh, this example was for the first cousins. And here we have uncle niece. So once again we build a pathway that is going to be as follows. So we connect people like this and we exclude this person here. And uh, we have uh, another alternative route here, and this is going to be second route. And uh, on each route we have uh, one, two, three, and four people. And for the blue route we have one, two, three, and four people. So this is going to be one over sixteen plus 1 over 16 and this is going to be uh, 1 8 so 1 8 here and this is going to be 0 0.125 and 12.5 percent uh, in breeding coefficient for this particular uh, pedigree so as you see, calculations are pretty easy. You just have to find uh, which people uh, to exclude. And uh, second, you have to find all the alternative routes that lead to 
person of our interest and then uh, you have to use this formula in order to uh, calculate inbreeding coefficient and if you have alternative routes you have to add uh, this uh, all probabilities and you will get final answer and if you need an answer in percentage form you have to uh, multiply your decimal answer by 100 and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye